you a young bachelor, got your own spot, doing well for yourself, got a couple dollars, and you just want to know how you can further improve yourself. Where, what other areas can you improve? Because that's what we all about over here at this channel. How can I further improve, bro? If you don't already know how to cook, you need to learn how to cook, bro. And for more reasons than just, you know, having something good to eat. If you know how to cook already, still stick around and watch the rest of this video because I'm going to get some game on, you know, how you, can, how you can utilize these things. I suggest every man should know at least a few go-to meals, bro. A few go-to meals. Not talking TV dinners, not talking microwavables, not talking ordering DoorDash every night. You need to have a few go-to meals in your arsenal, bro. Go-to dinners, go-to breakfast. And I'm gonna tell you a few ways you can put these things together. I'm gonna tell you the benefits. And I'm gonna tell you a few meals that you need to have in your arsenal, bro. If you really wanna easily impress a chick, bro, I don't wanna say easily, but if you wanna impress a chick, you got a chick you're trying to impress. An easy way to do it is cooking for her, man. Like, that's a skill that women really find attractive on guys. A guy that know how to cook. You get more points, bro. Just inches you on up the ladder, man. Find you a few things that you really, really like. Lock in on it, really learn how to make this dish or these dishes really well. I'm not saying that you gotta learn how to be a chef. I'm not saying you gotta be Gordon Ramsay out here or Chef Tony Durden's catering out here or Chef Low. I'm not saying you gotta be any of these people, right? But you should have a few dishes in your arsenal to where if you was to cook for someone, they would be like, yo, this is really good. Like this tastes like a chef made it. So firstly, when it comes to dinners, when it comes to, to even breakfast as well, and you wanna impress someone with a meal that you're making, you gotta remember presentation is everything, bro. So firstly, don't be don't be serving that dinner on a paper plate, man. Like, please don't be doing that. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with paper plates, you know what I'm saying? If you're a bachelor and you don't feel like doing dishes and all that, and you eat on paper plates and you're throwing them away, cool, whatever. But we talking about you trying to be on some grown man, mature, you know, I'm different than the rest type. You feel me? Don't don't serve no dinner on no paper plate, bro. And don't even serve no dinner on no little whack looking plate. Get you a few nice plates for the presentation. You can get a nice plate for a couple bucks. It's, it's not expensive at all. I personally like to, I personally like to use white plates. I think that when you got a nice looking meal on top of a white plate or in a white bowl, it just hit different. Those colors really pop off of that white plate. So personally, I think you should have a few nice white plates. You can hit up Target. You can even hit up, honestly, some of these like dollar stores, bro. Like they got nice looking plates in there. Get you a couple nice white plates. Have you some nice silverware, bro. And that's that's the start, right? That's gonna just, whatever you make when you put it and you plate it right on that nice plate, it's just gonna make it look way more presentable like we in a restaurant. And then also get you some nice glasses, man. Get you, you should have some nice wine glasses, bro. Again, these things are cheap. They don't cost that much some nice wine glasses if you're not drinking all wine just, just some regular nice drinking glasses you know like again hit up target you don't need a bunch of these things you know especially if you're just making dinner for you and your lady or you and the chick that you're trying to impress you just need two you know two nice glasses two nice wine but they usually come in a box with like three or four in a box something like that so just have a few nice glasses a few nice plates a few nice bowls and some silverware. Let's start there. Because the presentation got to be on point, man. Got to be on point. I'm telling him, giving you the game. It's going to elevate your, your dinner experience when you're trying to impress somebody. So, boom, you got the, you got the plates and the, and the glasses and all that stuff. So, the presentation going to be there. Keep in mind, bro, this, this is an easy, easy rule of thumb, easy thing to remember, bro. A protein, a starch, and a green. Simple as that. A protein, a starch, and a green when you're trying to remember dinners. Um, and we're gonna also talk about some pastas too that you should, should know how to make, you should have in your arsenal as well. But let's just start with the protein, starch, and green, bro. Something to always remember. Find you a protein that you wanna master, right? So it could be a chicken, it could be fish, it could be lamb chops is a good one. If you eat beef or, or, or you know, uh, seafood, steak is a good one. Find you a good protein learn how to make that protein master that protein get you a, a fire recipe bro with a protein so let's just say chicken for example we, we know it's a million different ways you can make chicken 
but that'll be your protein, right? Get you a good recipe for it, master that recipe, boom, you got your protein, right? And this gonna be your, your protein for your, I'm trying to impress her dinner, you feel me? I'm trying to separate myself from the rest of these cats out here that don't know how to cook, that think they only gotta spend money to bag a chick. You ain't gotta do that, bro, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta do that. I mean, you still spending money on buying the groceries, but you get what I'm saying. Personally, I like chicken thighs, they're, juicier and they're more flavorful you know what i'm saying so if you get you a chicken thigh recipe that you really rock with i can post i can post a couple on the screen get you a chicken thigh recipe that you really rock with and then you're gonna pair it with your starch and your and your green right so boom you got your you got your your protein you're gonna do some lamb chops for her when she's coming over right you're gonna do some chicken for her. The, the the concept behind protein starch and green is that you can mix and match every single you know what i'm saying any green gonna go with any starch gonna go with any protein almost so that's the that's the mindset you don't have to stick to one step dinner once you learn how to master each section the protein the starch and the green so boom you got your protein boom what what starches do you have so we can do we can do some white potatoes we can do some red potatoes can do some sweet potatoes, you know what I'm saying? We can do rice, you feel me? So your starch, what starch do you wanna pair with this protein? Let's go, let's go potatoes, man, let's go mashed potatoes. So the mashed potatoes gonna go well with the lamb chops. The mashed potatoes gonna go well with the steak. The mashed potatoes gonna go well with the chicken. You get what I'm saying? You can just easily mix and match and switch it up. That way you now have a whole bunch of recipes or you got a whole bunch of variations of the same meal that you can easily make when you cooking so when she coming over you ain't too worried because you know protein starch greens and i'm about to and it's about to be fire and then lastly a green what green do you want to use you can do spinach you can do string beans you can do asparagus you can do broccolini right Pick which one of these things sound the most flavorful to you. Go to the grocery store, grab it, go to the crib, try it out. See which, which green you like the best. Now, once you got all these things, and once you done been experimenting with these things and you got these different recipes, now you can easily mix and match. You can easily tell a chick, you know what I'm saying? I'm making dinner tonight, come over, let me, let me make dinner for you. Easy, easy work, bro, it's easy. And it's gonna be so good because you already been practicing, you already been cooking this stuff for yourself. You don't got it to where it's, it's, it's delicious, right? You don't master these these items. That's one reason why you should know how to cook, bro. It's, it's an easy way to separate yourself from the rest of the competition. Like I said, you a young bachelor out here getting to it, doing well for himself, and you add cooking to your arsenal. You working out, you in the gym, body looking good. You got cooking under your belt as well, bro. You you unstoppable out here, man. You unstoppable out here. Let's talk about a dinner that we gonna put together, right? So we gonna say. We're gonna pick a protein. Let's say we're gonna go lamb chops. We're gonna pick a, a starch. Let's say we're gonna go mashed potatoes. And we're gonna go a green. Let's do a, let's do an asparagus. Let's do an asparagus, right? Lamb chops, mashed potatoes, asparagus. This is three items, bro. I'm telling you, a simple dinner recipe. And if you present it right, if it's plated right and it's presented right, pair it with a glass of wine. And if she don't drink or if you don't drink, you know what I'm saying, pair it with whatever drink of choice you want to use water juice i don't know whatever you want to pair with the presentation right bro you in there you in there like swimwear so fire lamb chop recipe i put one i put one on the screen you need to learn how to master these lamb chops and master a sauce bro get you one good fire sauce to go with your lamb chops or get you one good fire sauce to go with your chicken the thing when it comes to cooking and once you get more into it, you figure out one thing can go with a lot of different things. So you can have a sauce that will taste good on your chicken. It'll taste good on your lamb chops. It'll taste good on your certain fishes. It'll taste good on your mashed potatoes. There's one sauce, right? So get you one sauce that you like and you can pair it with all these different meals. A teriyaki sauce goes with so many different things. You don't have to just put teriyaki sauce on chicken. You know, so after you got your three items, you make you you figure out what one sauce you want to get or what two sauces you want to master. And sauces don't let it scare you. They're so simple to make, bro. A few ingredients, just a few items. You whip it up, you get it right, you drizzle that sauce on top of the protein, on top of the starch, maybe even on top of the green. You know, depending on what sauce it is. 
But now you you looking like a real chef out here, bro. Plate it right, wipe the edge of the plate, boom. Serve that plate, she see that, the presentation, she like, oh, I'm already sold. She like, I'm already sold, man. Pastas, so your pastas, bro, you need to know how to make at least one good pasta, one to two good pastas, bro, and it's super simple. Don't let these, when you go to these restaurants and you order these pastas and it's coming out looking and tasting so amazing, you could have made that at home, bro. You could have did that yourself at the crib, bro. Boil some water, find you a pasta, and you follow the directions on that on that on that box of pasta, bro. It ain't that hard. Once you once you if you can boil the pasta, you can get that pasta al dente. You can get the texture perfect. The rest is is pretty simple. If you got some time, you gonna pair that pasta with whatever protein you want, right? So a chicken, a, a ground something. You know what I'm saying? A ground beef, a ground turkey. But you are gonna pair it with your protein, and then you can even add a green, or you can even do the spinach in the pastas. And then you whip up whatever sauce you wanna make, whatever type of pasta you wanna make. And so if you're making an Alfredo, you're gonna whip up an Alfredo sauce to your liking. You feel me? If it's a red sauce, you're gonna whip up a red sauce to your liking. But it's super simple, bro. I put I put another, I put a pasta recipe up here on the screen, some simple joints, and then you good to go, bro. You in there. Breakfast foods, right? If you did a good enough job, she probably gonna want to stay tonight, you know. And even if she don't, you should still know how to make breakfast foods for yourself. And just in case you having guests or you have a guest over and you getting up and you making some breakfast, you should know how to make a few breakfast foods, bro. Everybody don't want to get up and eat cereal, man. Like let's, let's grow up here. So with breakfast foods, I like to incorporate fruit, you know, in the breakfast. So figure out which fruits you like, but have you some fruits on deck, some apples. You slice them up. You add some some sliced apples to your breakfast is just gonna elevate it. Once again, it's gonna be plated on a white plate, on a nice plate. Slice some apples, slice some strawberries. You got some blueberries, sprinkle some blueberries on there. Some bananas, dice you up some bananas. All these little things, these are simple and not expensive items. You slice them up, you plate it, on, you put them on a plate on the side of whatever your breakfast is and it's already elevating that breakfast because you got some sliced fruit on the plate, bro. You can do you can do some waffles. You can do a waffle. Get you a waffle maker. Super super inexpensive on Amazon. Get you a waffle maker, and you get you some waffle mix or pancake mix. It's the same thing. But when you're making them waffles, bro, you want to add you some cinnamon. You want to add you some vanilla extract. Not too much. A little cap full of vanilla extract. Mix it in there. You can do the same thing with your pancakes. Add you some cinnamon. Add you some vanilla extract. Mix it up in there. It's gonna elevate that 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 flavor. Take it to the next level. You feel me? If you got a waffle maker, make you some homemade waffles. Make her some homemade waffles. So now you got a homemade waffle. You got the sliced fruit on the side of that waffle. Get you some nice syrup. Don't get that cheap, super thick syrup that come out. Don't get that. Get you some real syrup, man. Syrup is expensive nowadays, but get you some nice syrup to go with this nice breakfast that you're preparing. And once again, you're gonna need a protein so you can figure out, you can do some scrambled eggs, learn you how to scramble some eggs the right way. Or you can do a, a, a breakfast sausage, a turkey sausage, a chicken sausage, whatever, whatever you went to. I'm not here to police the type of food you should be eating per se, but again, protein, a starch, and then a fruit is, uh, is kind of what I go to when it comes to my breakfast. You can do a French toast and then you pair it with a protein, a breakfast sausage, a, a scrambled egg, whatever you whatever protein you want to pair with and then a fruit or some fruits assorted fruits simple as that bro these these items are very simple to make just practice getting in the kitchen and making these dishes and making them to a point where they get good and then you're going to be able to you know invite somebody over for dinner invite somebody over for breakfast and you, and you whip up a breakfast for them you just separated yourself and then another benefit one of the biggest benefits of knowing how to cook for yourself it is going to save you some money it's gonna save you a lot of money, man. I know groceries and stuff are super high right now, but it's still gonna last longer than if you was to go out to eat, right? If you buy a pack of chicken, that pack of chicken is gonna last you longer than if you spent that same amount buying some chicken from a restaurant. So it's still gonna save you some bread. So you, you, should, you should know how to cook. You shouldn't be ordering out every single day. And you can make the food to your liking. Once you figure out your style of cooking, your, the flavors you like to make, the sauces you like to make, you can make food to your liking. You don't have to rely on trying to figure out what you're going to eat every day. That's a choice you ain't going to have to worry about. 
look up a few dinners, grab these few items, and now you're cooking dinner for yourself or you're cooking breakfast for yourself. You ain't got to worry about where you're going to go eat, spending extra money, ordering DoorDash, all of that stuff. Ain't got to worry about it. So, fellas, please add cooking to your arsenal and go crazy and thank me later, bro. And if you do know how to cook, leave a comment below on what's your go-to meals. If you got a shorty about to come over and you're trying to impress her, what's your go-to meal? You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta keep cooking every day, but at least, at least remember that I told you to have these in your arsenals. And then when you, when you gotta use it, when you gotta pull one of these joints out, you're gonna remember like, yeah, he told me I, I needed this and it worked like a charm. So if any of this information helped you at all, please hit that subscribe button for the boy, man. It's really helping the channel finally monetize, channel growing and all those good things. So if you can, man, hit the subscribe button for the boy. I got more videos on the way, man. Peace.